Hey YouTube, Justin here. I've um, got a review for you today of the HTC Status. Um, got this phone a little over a week ago, and uh, you know, told you I was going to review it. You guys saw the unboxing. Um, so yeah, let's give a quick breakdown of the specs real quick. We got uh, 800 megahertz Qualcomm processor, Android uh, gingerbread, 512 megabyte RAM, 512 internal storage. Got in a micro SD slot, a 2 gigabyte card. Um, it weighs light <laughs> and uh, it's got a 2.6 inch diagonal HVGA display and a 1250 milliamp hour lithium ion battery so uh, obviously 3G and all that jazz a um, couple things on this phone here um, it, it's not a bad phone per se it's not my kind of phone the first thing I, I've told people um, my friends and myself is that it reminds me of a Blackberry it really does um, it's got you know the keyboard down here the screen up here the only thing it's missing is a trackball um, I mean to be honest it's it's got a front-facing camera too which is kinda cool uh, my phone doesn't um, but the quality is eh, and the back cameras only five megapixels um, the photos are decent um, but it's nothing too impressive and you can't really see them on the screen <laughs> The screen is the biggest drawback of this device. It is so small. Um, so as you can tell, I'm probably not. I'm not a huge fan of this phone. Um, but there, there's a market for this phone. Um, people that want an HTC phone that's not a black or want a BlackBerry that's not a BlackBerry. If that makes sense. Um, the keyboard is really nice to type on. Although I have found that when typing really, really fast, um, I tend to I tend to lose grip of it because it's so small. Um, just a comparison to my phone. Oops. I mean, it's it's shorter, um, and it's you know interesting. But anyways, so um, it's real smooth. It's nice. Uh, good texture. Um, call quality's decent. I mean, it's just like any other phone. It's nothing you know blowing out of the water. But um, I mean, you can hear people just fine and all that. Um, the big the big push on this phone, even in the brand name, is the status and um, the Facebook button down here is what they're pushing um, and it's actually pretty neat um, if you're really really into Facebook and you're one of those people um, you push that button you can type out a status and take a picture and post it in less than 20 seconds uh, which is great I mean I'm not huge into Facebook I'm more of a Twitter Google Plus kinda guy Facebook's more just like connect with these friends um, where did my dog go? I'll find him in a minute. Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> um, but uh, it's one of those things. Um, if you use it a lot, it, it's fantastic. I, f I feel like this is like the perfect phone for a teenage girl who likes to text in class. But that's 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 really my thought on this. Um, whoa! All right. So uh, I was editing the footage actually, and I was I was thinking about what I was saying. And I think if they did the status kind of thing, they should have probably. The best thing they could have done was taken Facebook here, Twitter in the middle, and um, just a random button right here because there's all this blank space and it's not, it's, eh, it's not attractive. I feel like it could fill it up with something. So if they had a Facebook button, a Twitter button, a Twitter button I think would be more appropriate because it's like, oh, I want to tweet, tweet, you know, text real quick because tweets go off real quick and I don't know if that'd be good for a lot of people considering they already share enough of their thoughts. But um, yeah, Facebook, Twitter, and like, uh, create your own, you know, I mean, Google Plus was, yeah, it wouldn't have been out when this phone was being developed, so, um, it wouldn't have that, but like a create your own social network thing, that would have been kind of cool too, um, so you could press it and go to like Tumblr or Google Plus or something, even though I know it's integrated in the HTC sense, which I also forgot to talk about, Ah, oh, I'm striking out today, um, just, this is a quick interjection. Um, HTC Sense on here, it's basically just a scrunched down version. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Sense, but I do like these uh, Facebook chat widget. Um, it's actually really nifty. And, uh, you know, you can scroll through all the people, and it's great. Um, yeah, that was it. Back to the original video. You know, I, one other thing. I haven't figured out how to open it up. I'm thinking you push up here, but I don't want to break it because it's not actually mine, and I don't want to pay for it if I do break it. So I just kind of ignored that point. Um, you know, the interface is pretty cool. Um, 
it's, you know, you can't see it at all, but I do have some other footage that I'm probably playing right now over this, and, uh, I mean, it's, it's neat, um, I set up all my accounts pretty quickly, um, you know, the vibrate on it's nice, I will say that, it's stronger than on my HTC Incredible, um, so you can actually feel it in your pocket. Uh, what else could I say about this? Um, nice big speaker grill, so it's got anywhere on the ear pretty much. Um, I mean, it fits the face. It's got a little bit of a curve, um, so it doesn't fit totally flat in your pocket, but you don't even notice it anyway, unless you got some tiny, tiny pockets, um, which would be a teenage girl that this phone is targeting. But anyways, um, yeah, so, I mean, this touchscreen works great. It's just really, really small. You can play Angry Birds on it. You can play certain games on it, but it's not enjoyable um, because it's, it's just so small. Um, so definitely, this is a texting email, even email, if you're looking at email and you've got pictures in your email, um, it's not, you can't really see the pictures, um, unless you, you have to zoom in, you can't just browse them. So this is more of like a text, it, it literally reminds me of a Blackberry, um, that's exactly what it reminds me of, um, with a touch, a Blackberry with a touch screen, like this is what Blackberry would have put out two years ago if they were smart. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's really it, guys, I mean... It's a, it's a good phone. It's not my pick. It, I probably wouldn't recommend it to you. There's definitely other choices out there. Unless you got to have that QWERTY keyboard, and you got to have a touch screen, and you got to have a dedicated Facebook button because this is the only phone that has all three of those. So, as it gets brighter out, I'm going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't yet, subscribe. Have fun. Have a good day, mostly. I'll see you guys in the next video.